Anyway, guys, so something arrived in the mail today, and um, I'm actually pretty excited about it, even though it's a, even though it's only one patch. I know um, it looks like it's the color tan, but uh, it, I'm pretty sure it's just faded, and, it, and originally the patch was the color green. But uh, I'm really excited to acquire this patch because, um, I mean, it looks like a regular armor division patch, but what makes it unusual is that not only is it subdued. And it's not the embroidered edge subdued type, so that means it's way earlier. It's earlier in the Vietnam War. And we have this at the top, two little swords, ten over two. So basically, this is a uh, theater-made patch. So this particular patch, I don't believe was made in Vietnam. I believe this was made in Korea due to... The, uh, what exactly this patch represents. So, this is actually a 10th Cavalry Regiment. I know that seems really odd, but um, this, but that's what the swords represent. And I'm just, so I'm just gonna assume the reason it has the Armored Division patch. This is uh, the Armored Division patch because this is an Armored Cavalry part of the. So it's uh, 10th uh, Cavalry Regiment, Second Squadron, and this this is the Armored Cavalry aspect of the uh, squadron so pretty pretty unusual patch I mean I don't I'm not exactly sure who in the unit would wear something like this but um with a lot of stuff like this a lot of people would have reason to believe that this would be fake but uh, I mean analyzing the patch itself and even smelling it it's incredibly musty and um, it looks the embroidery looks incredibly good. It's high quality compared to a lot of the fakes that have released. So I'd have reason to believe this is real and unusually. So the the edging and then the armored the um the uh the armored division symbol itself are two different uh, embroidered black materials, and you can see that from this line that goes up from the bottom. So. It's a crude patch, but it's still very cool, and you never know. I, there's probably not many patches like this out there. And it was removed from a uniform. So, a um, little bit of history about the 10th Cavalry Regiment is that they were... Uh, they were... Basically came together July 1st, 1957. I think at this particular time, the unit was in Germany. And then uh, towards uh, the start of the Vietnam War, it uh, consolidated with the Seventh Recon Company, and they and they transfer and they transferred some equipment. This this is from the Wikipedia page to uh, Korea. And then I know for a fact, uh, December of '67, uh, they transferred to Fort Ord, California. So I mean. The only possibility, I mean, I highly doubt this patch was made made in fifty seven. This seems like something that would have been do that would have been created towards them um, during the Vietnam War, even if this uh, unit didn't serve in Vietnam. Uh, I just personally personally believe that this patch was made in Korea. It's just a very cool patch. Um, I'm not an expert, so I can tell you if this is uh, technically authentic, but to to me, I 100% believe it's authentic from the way it was made, and even the musty smell the patch has, and when you smell it, you can actually smell, smell that somebody, the person who wore this smoked, smoked cigarettes, because it kind of makes your nose tingle a bit, but um, really cool patch, I was just excited to show you it, because it's not really something you see. I mean, I I haven't seen an armored cavalry patch, the armored division symbol with them with the swords and then the uh, the numerals over it. So, just really cool patch. I was excited to show you guys, and uh, I paid I think twenty three twenty twenty three twenty four dollars for it, and then four dollars shipping. There was actually a ton of people watching this, but I feel like part of the reason I got it as cheap as I did is that this unit did not serve during the Vietnam. Did not did not actually go to Vietnam. It primarily stayed in Korea, but uh, just a really cool patch for the price. There was a bunch of people watching it, so I just I'd have to assume that this patch is real. So it's definitely gonna be in the case, and I'm I'm gonna be keeping this for quite a while. So um, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh hopefully i get more of these uh these theater made patches because they're really cool i suggest you guys collect them too just uh, do, do your research with these because they fake them a lot so i'll see you guys next time